today we're going to do a do at home experiment experiment free transport across membrane so the main materials that we're going to use in this experiment is a potato in which we're going to use a potato cell to investigate the selective permeability of the plasma membrane in terms of water molecules so the movement of water molecules in and out of a cell is called as osmosis so we have two learning outcomes in this experiment. The first one is that we're going to determine the sucrose concentration which is isotonic to the potato cells. The second learning outcome is that we're also going to determine the osmotic pressure of the potato cells in terms of atmospheric unit. So let's look a bit at the theory behind the movement of water in and out of the cell. So what we have to take note of is the water potential. The movement of water is from high water potential towards low water potential. With that in mind, we can identify the three types of solution that we're going to be using in this experiment. So the first type of solution is the isotonic solution in which the water potential inside and out of the, out of the cell is the same. So this causes the movement of water to be at the same rate on both directions. The second type of solution is the hypotonic solution in which water potential inside of the cell will be much higher compared to the outside. So water will move out of the cell causing the cell to shrink. So in plant cell, our potato cell, the potato cell will undergo the process of plasmolysis. The third type of solution is the hypotonic solution in which water potential is higher outside of the cell compared to the inside. This causes movement of water inside of the cell causing the cell to expand. However, the increase of the cell size will be restricted in a plant cell due to the presence of a cell wall and in plant cell it will undergo turgidity. For experiment 3, transport across membrane, so these are the items that we need to use. Kitchen scale, measuring cup, as long as you can measure up to 50 ml, tap water, around 100 ml, sugar, 5 glasses with spoon to stir, so we need five of them. Three potatoes, medium sized. Ruler. Knife. Three mil syringe. Ten mil syringe. Labeling paper. Pen. And cutting board. First, we need to prepare our sucrose solutions. So, make sure your kitchen scale is in gram unit. If not, you need to change your unit on the scale. And then, you put your measuring cup on the kitchen scale and tear so that it will turn to zero. Okay? And then, you need to weigh about 17.115 sucrose. That means your table sugar. Okay, 17.115. But since my kitchen scale does not have decimal places, so it's okay if you just measure 17 gram. That will be okay. 17 gram. So once you get that 17 gram, so take it out and then you need to put tap water roughly until you get around 45 ml. So make sure your eyes is level around 45 ml and then stir to dissolve the sugar. Mix well. Okay, so actually we are preparing one molar of sucrose solution. And 
then I use syringe to make sure that I have 50 ml top up with tap water until you get around 50 ml of sucrose solution okay so make sure your eye level your eye is leveled to the measuring cup okay so i stir once again to make sure it is dissolved fully and it mix well right so once you get 50 ml of sucrose solution so that means this is your stock solution which is one molar of sucrose Okay, there are some sugar does not dissolve yet. Alright, alright. So once it's dissolved completely, so this is your stock solution. One molar of sucrose. Secondly, to prepare the sucrose solutions, we need to label our glasses with five different concentration of sucrose 0 0.1 molar 